Hello everyone, welcome to Yorpedia. This is Chandrasekhar, Faculty of Electrical Engineering at Yorpedia. This video is about uh, one of the very good notification that is released recently. That is uh, CGPDTM, Controller General of uh, Patents, Design and Trademarking. So in this department, Group A Gazetted Officer posts were released for engineers. So I am going to make a video of the paper that belongs to electrical engineering, right? So this is one of the very good option for electrical and electronics and engineers, okay? And mechanical also. See, I am going to make video on electrical engineering paper. So I, I believe uh, if you are in the preparation of GATE or ESC, this is a very good option to apply, to prepare and to write, right? Yeah. So this uh, uh, particular examination is going to have two parts. One is prelims and mains. In the prelims part, there is no technical. Only the mains part is going to have a technical. So in technical, the syllabus is uh, same as that of engineering services examination syllabus. Okay, only technical part. Okay, uh, technical means in electrical engineering, what are the subjects that will come? Network analysis, control systems, power electronics, power systems, electrical machines, electrical measurements, signals and systems. Yes, so these are the subjects. So here uh, in prelims paper, non-technical, mains paper is completely technical, but mains paper is completely descriptive, it is not objective. Most of you guys who are preparing for GATE and ESC, objective paper and all have good idea how to write uh, or how to uh, crack objective paper. But this is a descriptive paper. One must be very careful while writing descriptive paper right? because we generally students have uh, habituated for writing objective paper. Okay, here I'll be giving some tips, uh, tips and tricks uh, how to write objective paper. I'll discuss few questions also how to write. Okay. Uh, and what are the most important areas of a particular subject those things also I'll be discussing right yeah first let's see for how many marks the descriptive paper is conducted and how many sections are there uh, then how many questions are there in the each section what is the weightage of uh, each section and all let's discuss okay observe here see the first thing is all questions are compulsory in the instructions he mentioned very clearly that all questions are compulsory and one thing I want to mention here that is uh, there is no negative marking there is no negative marking but as it is a descriptive paper if one question is of 12 marks if you are not writing uh, in a uh, well formed manner then there is a possibility for the deduction of the marks out of 12 he may offer you only nine marks right so very clear handwriting is also important so the first thing is see how to write step by step step by step solution and with a very good handwriting okay subject knowledge is anyhow important see i believe most of the students have good subject knowledge right but how to interpret it in descriptive paper is very important right yeah see all questions are compulsory right and he's saying that the total paper is divided into four sections a to d section a is going to have three questions each question yes and three questions it is having and two parts okay each question is of two parts section a so three question two part means total six questions individually if you see questions are three only but question one is going to contain two questions in that a and b two parts means question one is divided into two parts part a and part b right yeah and each question is going to carry 12 marks therefore uh, the section a is going to carry 36 marks overall section a right section b again three questions it is also going to have part a and part b each question is going to carry 20 marks 20 into 3 is 60 marks right and section c is going to have three questions part a and part b each question is going to carry 28 marks the total is 84 right section d is going to have three questions again so parts a and part b and each question is going to carry 40 marks therefore 120 120 plus 84 plus 36 plus uh, uh, 60 it is equal to 300 total paper is of 300 marks i'll tell you questions are not at all difficult most of the questions i can say 50 percent of the questions nearly are copied directly from standard textbooks okay see what are the standard textbooks sir i'll tell you those textbooks also in this video i'll i'll refer some textbooks we at your pdia here will take very good questions and we will make you to solve in the classes we will solve and we will make you to solve also right yeah observe section a this is a sample question see this is a previous year 
paper it is 2018 last time it was conducted in 2018 yeah this is a 2018 year paper of uh, uh, electrical engineering what is the first question it is about uh, electronics i can say edc part edc part consider an abrupt uniformly doped silicon pn junction and a room temp at room temperature with uh, nia is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of 16 cent uh, per centimeter cube right so this question is from edc see if you see uh, it's a numerical question it's a numerical question first question is uh, what the, what is uh, a very good textbook uh, uh, for this analog electronics and edc seth grant smith there is a book called seth grant smith right yes or not yes now look at the second question this uh, second question is of uh, i can say like uh, it is uh, uh, let's read the question then we'll uh, uh, find out from which subject it is a first order instrument is calibrated for a step function by exposing it to a unit uh, to a step change of 100 units after 1.2 seconds the instrument indicates 80 units estimate the instrument time constant many people by looking at the question they feel that this question is from uh, measurements no the question is about time constant okay so no see it did not mention uh, any what is the instrument the instrument construction it is neither pmmc nor mi nothing just he's asking about instrument time constant we know very well what is time constant it is the time taken by the response step response in fact to reach 63.2 percent of its final value right and estimate the error in the indicated value after 1.5 seconds this question can be solved very easily from control system point of view right what is a very good textbook for control systems of bcq benjamin cq from that textbook uh, most of the questions are directly copied right we at we here at europedia will follow standard textbook uh, for uh, for for you to make a preparation for this particular examination right yeah then uh, let's go to the next uh, part yeah see this is uh, uh, the question is uh, an air circuit breaker is designed to interrupt a transformer magnetizing current. The breaker chops the current at an instantaneous value of 10 amperes. The value of L and C in the circuit are as shown figure below. So this is, uh, see, uh, it, it, you feel like uh, this question is uh, exclusively from uh, power systems, that is power system protection part. But if you see the circuit, it can be solved from a network analysis part also. Right, but uh, this question he is asking about the current chopping. Yeah, uh, the, the breaker chops the current at an instantaneous value of 10. At an instantaneous value of 10, the values of L and C in the circuit as shown in fig figure below. See, this can be solved from network side. Okay, nothing to do with power system protection. Question looks like that. Yes, yeah. The second question is of uh, shunt motor. This is per perfectly from electrical machines. What is a very good standard textbook for electrical machines? Uh, PS Bimbra. Yes, see, this is section B. Section B, the first question is uh, about uh, signals and system. Uh, for the sequence given below, x of n is equal to 1 to 1, n not equal to minus 1, find the spectrum, plot the total spectrum. This is from signals and system, right? So there are many standard textbooks for uh, uh, signals and system. There is a textbook called BP Lati. There are many textbooks, I can say, right? Yeah. Uh, the next question you see, a three-phase fully controlled thyristor bridge converter. This is from power electronics. Just by looking at the question itself, you can say that this is from power electronics. The question B of uh, fifth question is also from power electronics, a single phase full bridge uh, based voltage source inverter. You see, none of the question is difficult. If you observe the questions, none of the question is difficult. Questions are easy, but you must have good practice. How much more you practice that much, you will be comfortable when you are writing in the actual examination. So I suggest all of you to practice a lot. Okay, That is an important thing. The questions are easy, but see, uh, these are the things. The, these are the important things while you are writing a descriptive, uh, I can say, paper. Step by step, every step should be clearly mentioned. If there are any assumptions or approximations, you have to mention very clearly. And at the end, there should be end results. Perfectly end results should be maintained. Okay, see, suppose one question is given. He is expecting us to find, yeah, in this question, if you see, he is asking uh, to find the values of L and C, right? in what way you are proceeding take step by step but in the last uh, you must mention the value of values of l and c right suitable diagrams definitely see in electrical engineering there are phasor diagrams you one must draw phasor diagram if it is necessary there suppose uh, if someone is asked some question is asked like this what is uh, 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 derive uh, the voltage regulation of a short transmission line for leading load then definitely how to draw the phasor diagram right so, depending on the given question, necessary diagrams, necessary assumptions, approximations, all these things we have to mention in a very clear manner.
right? Yeah. Let's uh, see. This question is directly from network analysis. Find the voltage VAB uh, shown in the figure below. That is very simple question. Okay. But see, if it is objective type question, within 30 seconds we can solve without any by taking by not taking steps. But here you see. Uh, this question can be solved. I'll, I, I'll try to explain here. This, this is asking about the voltage between A and B, right? See, there is a voltage source in series with resistance. This, this can be converted to a current source in parallel with resistance with help of old source transformation. Then you have to mention this. By using source transformation, the voltage source in series with resistance will be converted to a current source in parallel with resistance. Here also you can apply, here also you can apply, here also you can apply. There are number of current sources, number of, uh, I can say resistances in parallel, current sources in parallel will be added according to the direction they, that will be either added or subtracted, right? Then you are going to get one single current source in parallel with a single resistance. So resistance in parallel, you know the formula, right? So that we have to mention Z1 in parallel with Z2 and so on, Zn is equal to 1 by 1 by 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2 and so on. Yes. So do it. You will get. Next question. Yeah. A, three, a, a 25 kVA 400 volts connected three phase synchronous generator. This is this question is from synchronous generator. What is asking? He is asking us to find a terminal a rated terminal voltage. Right. Next. Uh, come to section C. Section C is control systems. Yes. Control systems. Uh, this question is directly from uh, this question is directly from one of the standard textbook that is BCQ. Yes. Uh, he is asking PD controller is uh, KP plus KDS use, uh, is used to stabilize this plant. What uh, for what range of values of uh, positive gains KP and KD is a closed loop system is stable? First of all, one must understand uh, the question. Then right step by step. First of all, he is asking what are the ranges uh, range values of uh, positive gains of KP and KD? Right. First get its uh, transfer function. Then get its characteristic equation then apply RH criteria. So that way, step by step, you have to solve all the questions, right? The next question is uh, design a PD controller GC of S such that the closed loop system is stable for a unit step input uh, and the steady state error is uh, less than 0 0.1 with the uh, damping GTA equal to 1 by root 2. He given some specifications, uh, you have to design uh, a PD controller for that specification, right? The next question is of, uh, uh, next question is from operational amplifier part, it is, yes, it is uh, operational amplifier apart from analog electronics, right? The next question, yeah, that is a direct question, direct question. There is no twist, there is no twist. He's asking us to find a transfer function. See, not from analog electronics, we can solve it from control system itself. Apply uh, Laplace transform, get it, and apply, uh, get V0 by VA, that's all. Write the necessary equations, you'll get V0 by VA. But see, question is very simple, but you must mention all the steps very clearly. Okay, otherwise, See, we can get this answer within one step or two steps, but here that is not going to be, uh, I can say, fruitful for you. So, uh, answer is not, uh, only answer is not important. You must mention all the steps very clearly, right? Next, uh, uh, under what conditions the network parameters, uh, uh, network parameters, resistance and capacitance uh, of the system, is the, uh, is the system a lead network? So simply is asking, what are the conditions to be satisfied uh, with respect to parameters for a given uh, circuit to be act as a lead circuit. So he's asking this one to behave like lead circuit, what are the conditions to be satisfied, right? Next one, a three-phase transmission line from power systems. A three-phase transmission line is having three conductors equally, equilaterally spaced at four, four meters apart. The diameter of each conductor is three centimeter. The air temperature is 27 degrees centigrade and pressure is 83 centimeter of Hg. If the surface factor is 0.85 and the regulatory factor is 0.9, find the critical disruptive voltage and the visual critical disruptive voltage. A potential gradient of 21.1 kV per centimeter RMS value causes uh, the ionization air under normal temperature of 25 and pressure of 76 centimeter of Hg. This question is from Corona, electrical Corona. There are direct formulas. But see, there is a very big formula. You have to write the formula. In the formula, what does it mean by each and every, uh, I can say, variable of that formula you have to mention. Okay. What does it mean by delta? What does it mean by D? All those things. What does it mean by M? What does it mean by uh, irregularity factor? Everything you have to mention very clearly. Okay. Next. This question. A 400 volts, 3 phase, 3 wire. Uh, system fed power through a feeder yes this question also can be taken what what is the ultimate question find the power supply to the load see this question can be solved either from power system point of view or network point of view but 
writing all necessary steps, diagrams with very good handwriting is very important. So this you get only by practice. Okay, not uh, in a single go you get this you will get only by practice. So I suggest all of you to practice, practice and practice. Right? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So this question is from section D. Section D, this is from uh, basic analog electronics. Very simple question that is. This question uh, B, yes, he is asking if the, uh, there are uh, the four resistors uh, in the figure shift the, uh, to the right at uh, each clock pulse if the initial contents of the resistor are 0001 write the sequence yeah this question is from digital electronics digital electronics see uh, most of the questions i can say 40 to 50 percent of the questions are directly from standard textbooks okay yeah this question is from i can say power systems the abcd constants are given abcd constants are given when the compensator line delivers uh, a load of uh, what is asking determine the sending and voltage current power factor and the voltage regulation simple direct question vs is equal to avr plus bar is is equal to cvr plus dar if you know these things yes you can get but before that what is a what is b what is c what is d what are the units all the things you have to write very clearly yes a star connected uh, three phase 25 mv 10 kv alternator yes match price this is from power system production see i can say one thing here most of the questions are directly asked question there is no twist uh, in gate examination you can find twist in the question okay uh, you you have to derive your own new formula for do the, for solving that question but here all are direct questions but they are expecting you to be disciplined when you are writing your solution that is uh, all the steps you have to mention and all the necessary assumptions and approximations formula description of the each and every parameter in the formula to be there then only you will be awarded with full marks otherwise uh, there will be deduction of your marks there is no negative marking but you lose marks you won't get full marks right yeah look at this this question is also from power system this question is also from power system power system protect uh, i can say stability power system stability right so uh, i suggest all of you to prepare well okay join your hands with your pdf for your descriptive paper preparation thank you